hello my lovely leos how are you guys everybody do me a favor give me some energy meet me where i'm at put your paws up top it's good to see you fam thank you so much for being here this is the mystic leo and my name is isa i'm your favorite mama leo and we're about to do an energy check-in for the week okay um please guys take what resonates for you leo sun moon rising venus and the cross watcher leave the parts that don't if nothing Thing resonates here in your sun sign guys then definitely check your moon rising in venus you can do that on my other channel which is linked below or you can check out the older leo readings okay i know i made you guys wait a little while this week has been very challenging for your girls so i'm asking without going into detail if you can just send your prayers and your love out to my family at this time um i would thank you so so much guys okay uh, the description box not only has my other channel but where you can find me on other social media platforms and please don't forget guys like share and subscribe if this does resonate for you make sure you subscribe by hitting that notification bell on the top okay so let's check into the energy for the week and i think i think i'm gonna start by doing some of my oracles okay what we got showing up this week for my Leos? Hi, babies. Merry Christmas, too. Look, I've had this for years. I was waiting to put my tree up this year so you guys could share the holidays with the girl. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see. What do we got for Leo this week? Show me the energy this week. Thank you. Leo's lots and lots of work, okay? I want to clarify this, though, what this work is about. And we have adjudication. We have a false person. So there could be somebody for some of you on your job. You're finding out this person might be talking about you. Either they're talking about you or they are... I feel... Okay, first of all, let me say this. I'm getting somebody at the office that likes you, okay, Leo? And they're talking to somebody else about it, but they don't know how to approach you, okay? That's one. Number two, I'm getting somebody that might be saying you're not doing your work or something to that effect, okay? So be aware that it's some haters. It's some haters out here. Don't make me pick up this microphone and start whispering, okay? Because I don't like haters, all right? But be aware that somebody is watching what you're doing so they can be reporting back to somebody else, Leo, okay? So be on your P's and Q's this week. Then we have the adjudication. So I'm going to clarify this a little bit and see if I get some information about what this what this legal thing is some of you could be going through some sort of legal separation and i'm also getting somebody getting um you're working with your passport or you're doing something that has to do with the embassy does that make sense like uh or something like that like the government in another country so some of you are considering moving out of another country or you are in the process of doing that you may be marrying something something you might be getting married to something you might be marrying somebody out of the country, so you're getting the the uh, legal documents, the paperwork, the information necessary. Sachi, I'm going to need you to take it down about 95 notches, okay? About 95 of them. This child is running through my house. <laughs> All right. I feel like I feel like I should... Silver bells. Silver bells. It's Christmas time in my condo. I feel like I should have the, the music on. All right, what else is this adjudication for me, please, for my lovely Leos? Saj, Sachi, you hear that, right? <laughs> I wish I could, like, uh, I'm going to have to post some videos sometimes of her just... There she goes again, doing her thing. Okay, the tower. Some of you are going through a legal separation or some type of divorce here, okay? There could be some paperwork that shows up for you guys that's a little bit shocking because you're like, what the what? I didn't do anything, right? So uh, I feel like you're getting some kind of news here, a rude awakening that might have to do with um, some sort of legal situation, okay, guys? Or somebody, something's being... 
exposed here. There's some sort of disruption and it has to do with a legal, uh, a legal matter. Okay. So I'm not going to say it's going to go in your favor for some of you. It may not. Okay, and I'm not one of them readers. I ain't going to tell you it's great when I feel like it's not. All right. So be prepared for that. You may get, you may get some paperwork. Okay. All right. Tell me a little bit more about the toil and labor too, please. Tell me more about the work. Okay, so um, some of you may get some sort of unexpected bonus, something. Somebody's going to be very sa satisfied and happy with your work with the Ten of Cups. All right, so that's really good. Um, or you're finding a job that feels um, very emotionally fulfilling for you or you're choosing one because I have a 38. It adds up to a 2, which tells me there's maybe some sort of decision about your direction. Tell me more about this false person, please. You could be dealing with a Scorpio here okay yeah this is somebody who's jealous of you is very self-centered uh, and a very immature person they could be younger than you page of cups okay so uh, be aware they could be cancer Pisces Scorpio this person uh, is very jealous very petty okay so just be aware that there's somebody in your space that we don't likey okay we don't likey all right Let's get a couple of these coffee coffee cards. I don't know why. I've never blown on cards in my life, but I felt like I needed to for some reason. So I don't know if somebody's doing breath work or you feel that that's, that's like your good luck thing is when you blow on stuff. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird the shit that I get, y'all. Okay, let's go. What else do we got for my lovely Leos this week? What can they ins in inspect? Encounter. Just going to take it as it goes. That's the way it's going, these guys. These people are out here doing the shits. So oh, somebody's with the shits. Okay, so guys, I want you to protect yourselves at this time. Maybe that looks like incense for you, oils for you, prayers for you, energetic work. Okay, we have the evil eye is out. You might, you have an enemy. As I said, we have a false person and we have protection. So go ahead, please speak to those who are in your realms. Okay, your, your soul family whatever like look out for yourself okay because I, i'm getting the enemy kind of really really strong here somebody that's kind of out to get you all right so keep your eyes peeled keep them open i'm not trying to scare you but do that and know that you are protected so like call on your ancestors to watch over your situations or whatever might be going on for you protect you from negative energies okay we have the tree stability and growth so i feel like you guys there there's a with all of this weird energy this week, I feel like you're having, it's not exactly weird, but I feel like there's a huge growth process that some of you might be going through just in the fact that you may realize that too, that you've done a lot of growing maybe in the last year, maybe just in the last few months, whatever that is for you. Um, and it could be potentially that something like you're seeing your business take off at this time or something that you've worked hard at, you've put a lot of uh, time, energy, money into may start really sort of growing at this time. Okay. Because I've, I've been feeling this for you guys for a while now, especially as we're going into 2023 and like the last couple of months, I see things that you've worked very hard at progressing. Okay. And then we have the peacock. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You see what that says, right? Pregnancy. I've been talking about this for a hot minute. Y'all's out here doing naughty things. So be careful. Okay. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. All right. But again, this is wealth as well. This is out here looking good, smelling good, people recognizing you, people seeing you and you growing. Your financial stability is getting better. That's because you guys are disciplining yourself. And if you're not, I implore you to do that now because you do not know what might be coming in the future, what you might need to spend on, okay? And not only that, if you have goals, like I see somebody creating like a jar or fun that says like trips or special occasions you know something like that okay now's the time to do that because we're really working with um 
a beautiful energy. So we just came out of Neptune retrograde yesterday and Neptune retrograde, which I thought was so important because I really went through this like the last five, six months we went through uh, Neptune retrograde. And that was all about seeing realities, right? Sometimes hard realities and coming to terms with not having on rose colored glasses. So a lot of us now, and I don't mean just Leos, I mean people in general are coming out of a stage where we have learned now to not look at things as greater than they actually are. We're facing realities head on like a bunch of grown up people, okay? And you guys may be looking at your financial situation that way. It could be just things in your life with stability and growth. You've come out of a huge growth period and now you're seeing things a little bit differently, which is helping you to be able to save money, utilize your money better, right? Make positive changes in your life. So I'm digging this energy. Let's see what else. Trying to keep it a little bit short. Can I just have one card here? And I just have one message here, please, from my lovely Leos regarding this energy for the week. Regarding this energy for the week. They're saying cut it and take it. Workaholic. So a lot of you are going to be putting a lot of your energy toward work this time, I feel. It says having strong worth work ethic and giving it 110% all the time. Remember how I just said it's somebody's got their eye on you. Okay. Could be a boss, could be, it could potentially be a boss, but I feel more like this is somebody who's trying to see that you're fucking up. Okay. But we ain't going to let nobody catch us slipping, bitch. You're not going to catch me slipping. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard unmotivated and using laziness as a way of sabotaging yourself. So Leo, I want you to notice if you've been doing that. If you've literally just been lazy, now is the time to work yourself out of whatever rut that you've been in. Hey, if you need support, listen, you know, I myself am actually looking for a coach. I'm a life coach. I'm going through a program right now where I'm completing another degree or quote unquote certification, right? We'll call it a degree for lack of a better term. Um, I'm doing this, I'm doing my job and coaches even get to have support. I'll tell you an accountability coach might be a way to go for you guys. Um, and that might even look like a friend. So maybe some of you guys are considering a buddy group, like, you know, text message group or a WhatsApp group or something like that. Look around online. There's a lot of support that you can get from other business people. There's apps, there's all sorts of podcasts, things like that. So this week might be about inspiring you to make certain changes instead of making some excuses for why things aren't happening, okay? I know that you guys are brilliant. You have uh, the ability to do a lot of things, but now is the time to put some work in if you really wanna see that success in 2023, all right? babies. All right. Let's check some other energies here. Okay. Those were all upside down. Y'all would have been like, why is the reading so weird? <laughs> all right. What else do we got for my Leos? Let's talk money love career. I haven't used these cards for a while. They actually, they're like stiff, but they feel even stiffer. So what else do we got for Leo money, love career? We haven't seen much about love. Some of y'all might find out somebody doesn't have the kind of feelings they say they have for you, okay? You might be finding out that they just faking the fucking funk because they're trying to get in your pants. I have to keep it a buck with you. All right. Okay, there's some sort of hurt here. What else? Okay. Give me an overall energy for Leo this week. Give me an overall energy, please. Overall energy for Leo. Beautiful. Ace of Cups. Okay. Ace of Cups. Emotional support. Emotional outpouring. This is a brand new love. This is love in general. This is healing. Okay. This is support. Some of you, you may have recently gone through some sort of heartbreak here. I got the three of swords in the middle of this. Okay. But I feel like this is some just sort of, some sort of pain. What else do we have here? Okay. 
Now show me the show me the challenge. Show me the challenge. Leo's facing this week. The challenge. Okay. The challenge could be some fears or the unknown. Okay. Uh, listen to your intuition this week. All right, Leo. I feel like there could be a new love here. You know, I, you know what I'm getting? I'm getting somebody reaching out to contact some of you, okay? And I'm, so I'm getting you might have a hard time trusting what this person is going to say to you, okay? You have the Seven of Wands, the Three of Swords, the Judgment card. Um, this is you reevaluating a lot of things this week. And we have the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like somebody wants to have a conversation with you. They're kind of pouring out their feelings or their heart to, to some of you, okay? And in doing that, it's making you feel as if you don't know what the decision is you want to make about this, okay? You're having a very busy week too. I need to say that. I'm seeing like prayer i'm seeing you wanting to sacrifice some of you want to sacrifice your discomfort and push through the week um emotionally okay but uh i'm feeling like whatever this conversation is that this person want to wants to have with you it's going to leave you feeling like you don't know what to think about this this situation or this conversation okay somebody could be expressing they could be from your past since we do have judgment here that can talk about somebody wanting a second chance with you but whoever this is is somebody that um might have hurt you very badly here okay leo what do we what else do we what is just clarify this ace of cups okay yep yeah, this would be somebody that you potentially walked away from eight of cups Okay, for some of you, I feel like you're choosing to leave some sort of emotion behind, some sort of feelings behind. You're very disappointed or sad about something and you're walking away from it or moving on. This could be from the past. Okay, so you need to do a little bit of your own soul searching here or you are doing your own soul searching. You're looking for a little more insight. Um, and I'm getting very strongly. Somebody's wondering why people walk away from them often or why you always walk away from people. I don't know. All right, why is the Seven of Wands here, please? There's a lot of people looking for your attention, but I feel like you don't really want their attention. We do have the Ace of Wands, so I feel like you're feeling very creative. It's big wood energy. It's big wood energy. A lot of people are throwing them... If it's, if it's not a peach, then you know what it is. It's eggplants, ladies. Eggplants. Big wood. Okay. There's a lot of this just... You ever see the hot dog? What it's like for women to date online? Have you ever seen that? Guys, same thing. Just peaches coming at you. Just black eyes everywhere. All right? So we got you being very attractive here. But I also feel like this is also you kind of... Um, doing new things and really blocking off time for that okay so a lot of people might be inviting you out to stuff but you're like no no I got a new thing that I'm doing and right now I'm trying to conserve my energy okay so yes I might want to do the dating and have all the funds and also at the same time I need to kind of leave this for right now because I have some more important matters that are pressing me right now and they might be in the form of my goals okay talk to me about this three of swords What's the Three of Swords? Okay, Ace of Pentacles. So, uh, there could be some health worries, some, some financial worries that you have about you or something going on in your family. You could feel like you've been spending too much money, okay, or that you don't have enough money right now to accomplish some of the things that you need to accomplish, you also could be feeling if you've walked away from this particular person and this person is coming back, right? They're coming back very passionately and you are setting clear boundaries like, fine, tell me all the things, right? Tell me all the things you want to be doing to me. Uh, seems a little weird, right? 
but this person is coming with a lot of love, a lot of passion for you. And I feel like your heart's been broken by this person. And you're like, you know what? You're just too much for me. This is just too much. I'm very focused on my life. I'm very focused on my work going ahead here. I'm very focused on what I'm doing and starting and creating here. I don't think the way you took advantage of the situation prior is going to work for me moving forward, okay? What's the judgment card? I think you've made a final judgment about this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But this person is not going to be satisfied. What is wrong with this person? This is like a person who won't stop, okay? The world in reverse. So yes, this is something coming back around from the past. Take it as it resonates for you. Some of you, this is a health issue. Some of you, this is a person. Some of you, this is an opportunity that you turned down before, okay, coming back to you. And there's this person, it's like it's not finished with this person or they feel like this is incomplete no matter how many times you do this it seems like it's not satisfied okay like you can't satisfy the situation for yourself or this person is not satisfied all right we have taurus scorpio leo uh and aquarius energy you, you're ready for the next thing though, okay? But you got to close out this old cycle. And I feel like you could be doing a lot of that this week, really reviewing sort of how you've done things throughout the year and especially relationships. Tell me about the two of pentacles, the two of wands. Okay. So you're, you're, you have a lot on your plate at this time, but you're also really trying to stick to your plans. Even though it seems like this thing or this person cropping up is putting a wrench in that. Um, and I want to say this, by the way, it's going to be okay. Okay? It's going to be okay. It's just there's fears coming up here of the unknown and also being like the challenge is listening to your intuition at this time on what you need to do, okay? Seeing things clearly for what they are. But you, you're ready to continue moving forward. Even though there's a lot of decisions to make, some of you are moving forward, okay? You're leaving out of your comfort zone. Some of you may be getting ready to travel here. Tell me about this moon being the challenge. Why is this the challenge? <clears throat> okay. Okay. Some of you... You, you, some of you may be making a decision and you're like, I don't know if I can afford to do this. Okay. I have a fear because maybe financially I can't make it from here with the nine of pentacles in reverse. Some of you may be not feeling very confident or that you might be um, looking to fill a void. Okay. So if this person comes back, whatever this is, if this comes back, you might be asking yourself, am I going to let this person in my life? Are they part of my friendship, my future, my potential mate, whatever this is? Um, you know, and I feel like you're asking yourself at this time, am I attempting to fill a space because I'm feeling lonely? I'm feeling heartbroken. I, I feel like I'm missing something here, right? Something's wrong with me, but it, it's not, I don't think that you're really missing anything here, Leo. Unfortunately, I think we're in a really ridiculous time when there's a lot of shit people taking advantage of a lot of people that are not shit, okay? For example, yesterday I left my house and I was um, about to get in my car and this girl was pulled up into my neighbor's spot. Now here we have spots, we're owners, so our spot is paid for, you know, everything's assigned. It's not a hard concept. If it has a number on it, it means it's assigned. If it's yellow and it says guest, it means that's where I park, right? So this girl pulls into the spot and instead of saying to her, hey, you can't park here, I said, hey, I'm about to leave and go, go out for the day. She rolls the window down. She's got somebody sitting in passenger seat. And I say, I'm about to leave for the day. You can take my spot. This girl just starts shouting at me, demands her friend to roll up the window and starts this shit like in my face and backing out. And I'm just like, I just offered you a free parking spot. You might be an idiot. 
Point in case though, there's a lot of people that expect the world to be a certain way and then when they go out into it, they act like trash. Okay, Chloe. Fuck you too. That's what I want to say to you, Chloe, or whatever your dumb name is. Don't take my parking spot. Do you know how many people want the spot directly in front of the building? Even the mailman. Okay, Chloe, if I catch you in these streets. Merry Xmas. Yeah, so. Anyway, Leo, harsh realities, right? Harsh realities, reality checks. What do we got for the love? Honey, looks like you gonna be flirting, okay? Flirting, getting out there. I feel like some of you could be dating at this time. Maybe some of you are not dating. But uh, you might feel sexy and cute, like I said. Like I said, heart-to-heart -heart conversations and romantic feelings. Okay, so as I said before, there could be somebody that's cropping up here that you haven't talked to for a while. They're still letting you know, hey, I still have feelings for you. You're discussing your feelings with each other, maybe even flirting. I do think there's a lot of attraction here. This is a person that you already had, you know, some sort of relationship with. But Leo, I think this is going to throw you off, okay? Because you're kind of like, I don't know what to do with this information. I kind of feel like the thing isn't closed between us two, but I also feel like it's time for me to continue to move forward this is going to be a little bit challenging for you because it's going to be hard to trust your intuition when some of you might feel a little bit like i don't know you know maybe this person's coming back for a reason um you know maybe i'm kind of you know want to indulge myself in this a little bit just be aware that that might be a slippery slope all right babies this is slippery slope Kisses, yep, unconditionally loving, giving, and receiving affection, falling in love. I do feel like for some of you, there is a new person after you walk away from somebody, but that's not the message I'm getting here the strongest. I'm actually getting a return of somebody, okay? What else do we have here? This could be somebody that you started something with and y'all went separate ways. Yeah, definitely. For some of you, y'all went separate ways. Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting, hesitation. So you could be invited out to something where you do meet somebody this week as well, Leo. Or you're just really pushing yourself to go out there. What else? Thank you. Keys on a ring. Many options. Decision. Unconventional. String along. One night stand. This could be a one night stand for some of you. But for others of you, what I feel like is this is somebody who strung you along thinking that you were always going to be there. Okay. And now I feel like they're coming back because they want to see if they can either make it better or try to do this shit again and that's why this is going to be frustrating because for many of you you might feel like i don't know is this a great thing that they came back okay but like i said we just came out of that neptune retrograde this is about seeing things for what it is seeing it clearly leo remember if you made your judgment about this person in that last five six months whatever that is Remember the, the, remember what you said. Remember what you did, okay? It's going to be challenging because a lot of you might feel like, damn, I kind of feel lonely right now. It's easy because I've been down that road, right? Listen, not everything's easy. It's worth it. All right? That's what I have for you, my lovely babies. Thank you so much for being here, Leo. If this did resonate for you, please make sure you smash the love button for your girl. Don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, say hello to your girl. And like I said in the beginning, if you made it this far, I really, really would appreciate if you would just extend some healing, some love out to me and my family at this time. Okay, guys? Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's all I got for right now. Okay, I'm going to do another reading for you guys. So don't worry. It's coming. It's coming. All right. I love you so much. I'll put your paws up top for me and I'll see you soon. Bye.